Tapus Kumar Pal and today we will teach you one more important condition that is on request. So this request uh, is done by one of our uh, fellow student come physio Shashwati Odikari. So uh, from her this request came to uh, describe one point that is the neurogenic claudication and from the last video when we saw the tense electrode placement so it was requested to show exactly what is neurogenic claudication. So we thank uh, Shashwati for asking us for this condition and we will be describing you now regarding this particular condition. Neurogenic claudication as we last uh, session we described regarding the sciatica there is a difference between this neurogenic claudication and sciatica but most of the times people used to get misdiagnosed with these two things and there is a symptomatic changes also in between neurogenic claudication and the sciatica. Now let us see what is exactly the neurogenic claudication is and how we will differentiate with any other radiculopathy. That means when we will tell a patient is having a radiculopathy and when we will tell a patient is having a neurogenic claudication. Now neurogenic claudication it is a condition where it is a, uh, it's a condition where the spinal nerve uh, the spinal cord it is to get compressed just because of the canal stenosis and that's what's called as a spinal canal stenosis either it can be congenital or a acquired cause with the spinal canal the neck the canal diameter it is to get narrowed and that leads the spinal main spinal cord it is to get a compression and what used to happen and the patient and most of the patient they used to have a symptoms of bilateral radicular pain in the initial stage and in the late stage this bilateral radicular pain it used to happen with severe muscle cramps of mainly the hamstring and the calf the time the patient used to come to us they used to tell they used to work for a while suppose they used to work for a minute they used to work for two minutes and suddenly they used to have a cramps they used to have a fatigue over their hamstring and calf and they cannot work they have to take a rest and then again suddenly they will start working. So this is the type of condition when we will con uh, diagnose this type of condition as a neurogenic claudication. Now how we will differentiate this with radiculopathy. Radiculopathy either it can be unilateral most of the times it is unilateral if it is a nerve root compression. But in case of neurogenic claudication the pain is failed bilaterally that is the first difference between the radiculopathy and neurogenic claudication. Now number two the pain pattern the pain pattern for radiculopathy it is a tingling and current feeling of sensation but for in case of neurogenic claudication it is of muscle fatigue people they cannot work for a long duration and whenever they will start working after a little time the muscle will go for a fatigue. The main cause, the main cause of this neurogenic claudication, most of the people they used to have a canal stenosis. But uh, as this canal stenosis, it, it can be described as a central canal stenosis. Either it can be an acquired cause with osteophyte formation or any other degeneration or as a congenital cause, this canal stenosis in the late stage can lead to neurogenic claudication. So, the treatment parameters it always is to be deferred from the radicular pain and the neurogenic claudication. Now, so this is the basic definition of neurogenic claudication. This is the basic symptoms whenever we used to get a patient with neurogenic claudication and of course the treatment pattern is to, is to be deferred from the sciatica or any type of radicular pain with neurogenic claudication. So, friends for the next video we will describe you how the neurogenic claudication we will treat and what is the basic evidence based physiotherapy management for neurogenic claudication. So any one of you if any doubt regarding this neurogenic claudication or any other queries if you are having do not hesitate to ask in the comment box we will answer you all your queries. So till that time be in with our channel and wait for the next video where we will be describing the neurogenic claudication 
and the, the treatment parameters of the neurogenic claudication and of course we will be showing you a few of the MRI studies whenever the patient used to come what exactly it is seen in the neurogenic claudication and if you like this type of videos and if you like this type of advanced educational uh, videos don't forget to subscribe our channel and please like our this video so that we'll be encouraged to make for you like these videos thank you